I popped this bone out. It was a compound fracture, which means like the bone pierced the skin. I basically got whipped too much, over rotated, came down from like a couple of meters high. My arm was right behind me and you can guess the rest. Oh, this is stressful. That's the first question. Do you feel you have a purpose in life? Why? That started really deep. Um, I guess I feel my purpose is just to be with Motus and create. I definitely feel like I need to create because when I'm not like instantly coming to the HQ, I just want to make something. But yeah, that's about it really. Other than that, climb, train, have a good time. What makes you different? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what makes me different. I've got really bad angle dorsiflexion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what makes me different? That's so, that's such a hard thing. I don't know. I guess I'm, uh, I'm slightly better at lashes than the average person. That makes me a di bit different. Uh, and I really like, really, really like editing photos. Yeah. <laughs> That was such a hard question. <laughs> what do you hate? Right. So, if you've got really, really dry hands, okay, and you touch like a fabric, like a really, like that's just there. I hate that. It's like chalk on a blackboard. I really hate that. Um, what else? I hate cats. Uh, just simply because I'm severely allergic and it's not very nice. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. Don't really hate too much. Quite like a lot of things. Yeah, I'm moving on. What's your worst injury and the story behind it? Ooh, so worst injury is I popped this bone out. It was a compound fracture, which means like the bone pierced the skin. Um, when I did gymnastics, I think I was about 14, 15, maybe younger, maybe 13. Uh, basically I was doing a pitch tuck to catch because I did acro, uh, acrobatic gymnastics. So not like the bars and all that. Uh, I got chucked up by my partner I did a backflip and then he was meant to catch me in the hands. I basically got whipped too much, over rotated, came down from like a couple of meters high. My arm was right behind me and you can guess the rest. Favorite training shoes and why? <laughs> I think everybody probably knows this one. Uh, the Adidas 3MCs. Uh, thin, good sole, nice. Yeah, nothing much more to say. I don't really like chunky shoes at all, in the slightest. I uh, feel like you can't feel what's going on, so yeah. What are your aspirations for your career in parkour? This is a hard one because I've been kind of down a path that hasn't been very parkour-y recently. Um, but just work with Modus and continue, like I said earlier, uh, creating for Modus. Uh, whether that be I train every day or train once in a while, it's still relevant to parkour. I'm just doing something that's not necessarily training every day. I don't really think I'm going to go down like the professional kind of, you know, athlete. Uh, I feel like I had my chance and then kind of died down a bit. Um, but I just like training and I prefer enjoying training rather than stressing about training and getting clips and posting on Instagram and kind of going down that influencer lifestyle, which I feel like you need to be if you want to make a career as a parkour athlete. So yeah, continue with Modus and just create. Do you consider yourself to be competitive and why? Yes. If I lose a game of Monopoly, I'm not gonna be your friend ever again. Um, especially, I feel like I'm more competitive with myself as well when it comes down to competitions. Like if, if I don't do well, like I'm not only gonna be angry at the person who did better than me, I'm also gonna be very angry at myself. But yeah, it's just the case of wanting to be the best and better than everybody else, as well as better for myself. I kind of saw that one before I picked it up. Hang on. Favourite up and coming athlete. Why? Ooh, this is a hard one because I don't really, I'm not on Instagram too much because it just gets me a bit down scrolling through Instagram a lot. Um, Favourite up and coming athlete. Probably Dan Calvert. I'm gonna shout, shout him out right now. Uh, he's just a very nice lad, local homeboy from Newcastle. 
Uh, when I moved to Norway, he was kind of on the up and come, and then I left, and I feel like he kind of walked in, and then uh, he's just absolutely demolishing the Newcastle scene. So Dan Calvert, one to look out for. Uh, do you think you have balance in your life? Right now, probably a bit too much. Yeah, like, I mean, what, what even is balance in life? Uh, I mean, I've got a stable job. I have a, an apartment. I have a girlfriend. That seems pretty balanced, but that's not what I want. Not that I don't want, like, obviously I want a girlfriend and I want an apartment. Uh, but just due to whole COVID, I've been a bit, like, feeling a bit complacent. Like, I'm stuck in the same kind of routine. And yeah, I can blame that on COVID, but now things hopefully will get back to a bit more sporadic kind of lifestyle, traveling, training a bit more, doing some more adventurous stuff than rather than working, training, working, training. Yeah. The hardest battle you faced in parkour. Ooh, that is a good one. Oh. There's, there's a run from Cinnamon Toast Crunch that it's not by far nowhere near the most impressive line or run I've ever done, but it was by far the hardest. Uh, it, w it wasn't even that hard movement wise, it was just the connections. Uh, but basically it's when there's a song that kicks in at the end and I do like a front flip, walk out, step, step, stride over some rails, swing on a tree, land on a curb, back full out. Um, and that just like, I don't know why, but it just took so many attempts and then the full vibe around with everybody and then everybody coming together when I did it was just so satisfying. But of, next to that is probably the Woodward Cypress. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. so easy to follow as well, there wasn't like... I felt like I couldn't, uh, I don't know, I was stressing about stopping, but I realised you just cut 